before that, I, I did want to talk about uh, the breaking news of the day, uh, and that is the the what looks like a, the apparent suicide of uh, Jeffrey Epstein. And uh, I mean, there's not a lot that I want to say about this. Uh, you know, I'll, 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 one thing I'll say is that it's real tragedy that he was allowed to commit suicide. This is a, a man who's uh, accused of such a degree of evil and over so many years that this should have been, this should have, should have made it into court. He should have had his day as court, his accusers should have had their day in court. And uh, that would have allowed us possibly to get to the bottom of this, to, to get his accomplices, to get the, the, the scope and uh, in the, the extent of, uh, of what this real, really monster did for the last uh, 30 years. Uh, I, think, I think the fact that he, he will not be in court is kind of denied his victims that, that day in justice and, and I think will ultimately deny all of us the knowledge that I think is central to preventing others from doing what he did and preventing people who, um, who might be affiliated with him from um, prevent them from actually getting the justice they deserve. So it's going to be really interesting to see if, uh, if prosecutors, you know, continue going after the, the, the different people involved here, whether it was the woman who procured girls for him or whether it's uh, his friends who participated in a lot of things, the, 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 the very powerful, politically powerful, wealthy, often wealthy uh, individuals in his circle that um, participated in uh, the rape, the, the sexual assault on, on girls, on girls, on underaged, on underaged girls. And whether those people are prosecuted. I mean, that, that's what is required now. That's what should be demanded now. And that's what's unlikely to happen. Uh, of course, the real tragedy here is that we haven't had the opportunity to put pressure on Jeffrey Epstein to reveal everything that happened. Now, I don't know if he would have talked, but I think he would have given and, and given, well, let's assume he committed suicide for a moment, given I I him committing suicide, he was obviously in a very precarious mental state. One assumes that interrogators could have ultimately broken him and uh, could have ultimately got him, and, and I don't mean through torture, but could have broken him psychologically or he would have broken psychologically and revealed what actually happened and all the people that are involved. Now, so I would have liked to see him rot in jail for a very, 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 very long time, for the rest of his life, basically. I'd like to see him having to spend the rest of his life in jail and die in jail of natural causes. I, I think this, is, this was too easy for him, and I think we didn't get the full justice that I think the victims deserve um, because of his, uh, of his suicide. And of course, again, we will we'll never know the full extent of what he did unless prosecutors continue and, and pursue this. Now, of course, the first response to all of this were the, were the conspiracy theories. Now, I have to say, given, given the fact that just yesterday a bunch of documents was, was released by the courts revealing the kind of people that are being accused by uh, Epstein's victims as uh, having participated in the rape and assault, uh, high-level political figures, primarily in the Democratic Party, uh, wealthy, uh, wealthy people, powerful people. These are people who, um, you know, these are people who have a lot of political power, a lot of political pull, people across the political spectrum, uh, primarily in this particular, um, in this particular release of information, Democrats, but who knows what else? Who knows who else? And there's still many, many, many testimonies and Democrats and, and tes testimonies and uh, documents yet to be released. And we will see how wide it is based on those documents, assuming that the civil cases continue, and hopefully they do, uh, against the state of Jeffrey uh, Epstein. There's a lot of money there. 
So I assume they will continue to go after uh, that money. And a day after that is released, uh, naming a former governor, naming a, a very powerful former senator, naming very powerful, uh, very powerful politicians, very powerful democratic politicians, that conspiracy, th it's, 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 it's very convenient, one would say, that Jeffrey Epstein happens to commit suicide the next day. So this is obvious material for conspiracy theory, right? And it's tempting, and I'm tempted by the idea that probably both Democrats and Republicans wanted him dead. And is it possible that they killed him? He, he, by the way, he wasn't a suicide watch. He was released from suicide watch. And one of the questions is, why was he released from suicide watch when two weeks ago, he, he was, it was discovered that he had choke marks on his neck and it wasn't clear if it was an assault or whether he had tried to commit suicide. So he was put on a suicide watch, which was, he was taken off of just very recently and then he committed suicide. So yeah, you can see why they would be, why they would be, you know, uh, conspiracy theories. Why there would be the assumption that powerful people had him killed, had him murdered. Now, if they did, I don't think they're going to get away with it. I mean, the FBI is investigating. The district attorney of the state of New York is investigating. A district attorney that was independent enough to go and arrest Jeff D. Epstein in spite of all his political connection. If you believe that it was the Clintons who did it, which is the prevalent conspiracy theory, then the, a, a, a Trump... Justice Department has any incentive to find that. If you believe, as I believe, that if that both political parties had an incentive to knock him off, then yeah, maybe maybe they, they shut enough people out. But you know, the, the the attorney general who prosecuted him was independent enough and courageous enough to go after him, knowing all these political connections. So one would have to believe that this will come out if indeed he was murdered and did not commit suicide. But yeah, I mean, this is as close as it comes to uh, a conspiracy that kind of seems, you know, doable, right? It kind of seems uh, uh, like, like, you know, that you've got enough people who have the interest to do it. Including, by the way, uh, Trump, who, who, you know, information has come out over the last couple of weeks of, that he was very close to Jeffrey Epstein, at least uh, in, the, in the 90s and in the early 2000s. So who knows? Who knows? No evidence and no suspicion about him doing anything bad, but they were close. They would were, they were party together. By the way, the revelations yesterday were super disgusting. I mean, of all kinds of people, a Nobel Prize winner in economic, in, uh, in, uh, who kind of one of the pioneers of in, in, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, the politicians, uh, wealthy individuals, all accused of, you know, having sex with underage girls uh, arranged for by Epstein. Now, some of those, it could be false accusations, and we'll see how much corroborating evidence there is around these things. But... God, I mean, you got to believe that some of this happened, whether these particular people or other particular people. And I don't want to name names because, again, these are just accusations. We still assume people are innocent until proven guilty. But the, 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 the extent of the accusations, the specificity of the accusations, the, the scope of them and all of that suggests that something horrific, something on a grand scale happened here and that a lot of very powerful very famous people were involved. And it's just horrific. Now, I, I, ha you know, I have to say this because, you know, I, because I'm about facts in spite of those of you who, who resent me for attacking Donald Trump. Um, Donald Trump retweets today, retweets. I don't know what time exactly, but retweets, uh, you know, unless he has some evidence from the Justice Department, I doubt it, that there is a conspiracy here. Donald Trump retweets the following tweet. 
died of suicide on 24 7 suicide watch question mark yeah right how does that happen jeff v epstein had information on bill clinton and now he's dead i see uh trump body count trending but we know who did this retweet if you're not surprised so donald trump let me remind you the president of the united states not donald trump i don't know the the entrepreneur the playboy the 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 uh the cavorter with uh, porn stars donald trump the president of the united states with the presidential twitter account retweets a tweet basically accusing bill clinton or the clintons of murdering jeffrey epstein now it might turn out that they did i doubt it but it might turn out that they did but he doesn't know that and this idea of reinforcing conspiracy theories by the way the next tweet his next tweet was going after fake news media this is a president who retweets conspiracy theories unbased unfounded on anything and then complains about a media that is involved in fake news all right now remember we should be spiced this is the president who was at the lead of the bertha conspiracy theory the idea that obama wasn't born in the united states complete ludicrous and yet he he, he led this and that didn't stop him being elected president of the united states that in and of itself should have disqualified him from the presidency in the minds of voters but it didn't and now he's retweeting retweeting conspiracy theories about bill clinton or the clinton mafia whatever you want to call it murdering murdering somebody in a jail cell run by the federal government because it was the district uh, the, the 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 district attorney appointed by the justice department I mean, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stuart says that's the kind of thing we'd expect from Hoover Chavez. Yeah, it's the kind of thing you expect from authoritarians who encourage conspiracy theories uh, around them. So, I mean, I just discovered that. I just discovered that, um, you know, this evening. Um, it, it, it's shocking. So, it's, um, this is a story we're going to watch. We're going to watch the investigation about how he died. Um, was is the videotape mysteriously erased of the suicide? Uh, is the is the tape being doctored? Is the is the NSA responsible? Um, is uh, is the Trump Justice Department, who after all were the ones holding Jeffrey Epstein? So it would have been much easier for somebody within the Trump Justice Department to do this. But uh, yeah, you can imagine a whole host of different conspiracies about what happened. We will have to say we will have to see what kind of evidence is produced. But just just I leave you with think about a president whose first response to something like this is to repeat a conspiracy theory about a former president murdering people. With no evidence, no evidence. That's what conspiracy theories are based on. Just speculation. Right? Pretty amazing pretty amazing the time the times we live in the times we live in both in terms of the extent of what the evil of of what jeffrey epstein did and and the extent of that network and the kind of president we have uh when when dealing with such a thing all right what we need today what i call the new intellectual would be any man or woman who is willing to think meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes.